Let us bring in Tommy Laren, Fox Nation host. Tommy, you heard Alexandria go through that tweet listing all the individuals and items like drugs that were caught. That's all well and good. But if that's what was caught, Tommy, can you imagine the scope of what is ultimately getting through the bad guys, the drugs, all of that? Well, those that want to come into our country to do harm or are those that we don't want in our country are taking advantage of the situation that's been created by Democrats and the Biden administration that have sent a message to the world that if you ever wanted to come to the United States of America unvetted, unfettered, undeterred, now is the time. And that is exactly what we're seeing. And I'm glad that you mentioned what we're not catching coming across our border. And that is what most Americans should be most concerned about, because when you have this chaotic situation, when you've got thousands of people coming through, when you've got your Border Patrol agents as babysitters and essentially ushers welcoming people in or having to spend their time babysitting or rescuing, then the worst of the worst are slipping through the cracks. And when you see people that are repeat offenders that are coming across multiple times, they are taking their chances because they know that the chances are high they will be able to slip through those cracks. Uh, we need a new DHS secretary. We need a new president. We need new leaders who are going to address the situation and take it seriously. And I hope the American people are understanding what's happening, because once we open those floodgates, there is no going back and we're going to have to deal with it. And it's not going to be a problem that can be simply changed with a new administration. This is going to be a lasting problem. So let's fix it now while there's still a chance. Yeah, just going over Chief Ortiz's tweet again. I can't believe it. All of this apprehended at the border in three days, 131 pounds of fentanyl, 26 pounds of heroin, 13 pounds of meth. There were 22 water rescues, can be, which can be extremely dangerous. Um, almost 2,500 migrants apprehended. Ten of them are sex offenders, three gang members, one uh, assassination suspect, one fugitive wanted for murder, and three um, agents were assault, assaulted uh, during all of that work that they did to try and keep the border safe. You know, Tommy, what is motivating Democrats to turn a blind eye to this issue? Issue. Is it political? Are, are they motivated by blind compassion in some sort of way uh, that is clearly misguided? What is it? No, this is not compassion at all, because if you look at the individuals coming over, yes, they're being able to come over to the United States of America, but they're not going to come over to live the American dream. They're going to come over to live in the shadows. So when I hear Democrats say that having an open border is compassionate, I have to really throw the BS flag on that one. But I've told you guys before what I think the motivation is, and it's not some big secret. I believe that Democrats want to usher in as many people as they can into this country as possible. You have dedicated Democrat voters who are indebted to the Democrat Party for getting the them across. And I believe that that is what they're really looking for is a new voting block. And that's what they're bringing in, because otherwise there really is no excuse for it. This is dangerous for the migrants. It's dangerous for Americans. And it's not something that can be sustained much longer. Finally, Tommy, Memorial Day weekend violence leaving at least 38 people dead, dozens more injured across our nation. Look at this map. Philadelphia. What a horrible, horrible weekend there. 13 people dead. Chicago, nine dead. Baltimore, eight. How can the leaders of these cities continue to stay in power when carnage is in their streets seemingly every weekend, including holiday weekends like this. You know, listen, we've just spent the last week talking about tragedy and talking about violence, and it's an important topic to bring up. But let's also look at what's happening in these cities across the nation on a weekend-by-weekend -weekend basis. We have mass violence and lawlessness, and it's so easy for the Democrat Party just to call it gun violence and move along, because if they just call it gun violence and move along, they can blame an inanimate object instead of blaming their own leadership. But we also have to look at a culture of lawlessness that's going on in our country, and it's rampant. It's a culture of lawlessness. It's a culture of fatherlessness and people believing they can do whatever they want in the streets. It's a lack of leadership on every level from the administration, from our politicians and from the household. Mm -hmm. And that is something that's a little bit more difficult to address and tackle. But we have to if we really want to get a grip on what's happening in our country and maybe not letting felons and thugs roam the streets. <laughs> that would be a good option as well. Maybe we have to take a look at some of those policies that allow these people to do this every single day in some seems of the like, cities with the strictest gun yeah. laws in the nation, mind you. Seems like that would be a good start. Tommy Laren, thank you very much.